Today we're checking out a huge bin full of Camp Cretaceous predators. I've got T-Rexes, I've got Indominus Rexes, and a whole lot more. First, let's check out this huge Indominus Rex figure. I think this figure is the largest predator figure that I have aside from the super colossal figures. This figure has the typical Indominus Rex coloring that you see in the movies. It's got the gray all over its body with some brown detailing on the top and around its eyes too. And it comes with action buttons, one for the arms and one for the jaw. I believe this figure is the epic Roarin' T-Rex. This figure has some of my favorite coloring and detailing along its whole body. And my favorite part is that you can use the tail to twist its neck and to move it up and down and a button to control its jaw to make it look really lifelike. Hiding back here, we've got a huge Spinosaurus figure. This is almost as big as the Indominus Rex figure, but I think a little bit smaller. Still really epic though. It's got the tan body with the red spine and a narrow and very long snout. Over here, we've got another T-Rex figure, but this one is different. It is the Extreme Battle Damage T-Rex. It's got totally different coloring with the gray detailing on the top and the light underbelly and brown on the sides. And of course, it's got the special ability that you can turn the battle damage on and off with the click of a button. Plus with this figure, there's no button to control the jaw, but you can actually just open its mouth and keep it open for posing. Before we keep going with this bin, I've actually got some brand new ones from Camp Cretaceous that we're gonna open up and check out. This first one is the Scorpios Rex Danger Pack. First, let's check out the Scorpios Rex figure. This has some similar coloring as the other Scorpios Rex figures that I have. You'll see later on in the video, but it is actually a dark green. The other Scorpios Rex figures I have are just black. It's got the yellow underbelly, of course and the poisonous quills on its tail. And there's no action button, but it is pretty adjustable. You can move its legs and its arms. You can adjust its neck and of course, open and close the mouth. And those are some pretty crazy looking teeth too. And the other two pieces that come in the set are Kenji in the blue sweater and the sphere that they can ride in. You can actually plop them down in there. It secures them in so they won't go flying around. Then you can close it up. Bingo! And then even as it spins, they stay upright. So you can actually roll this thing around and have the Scorpius Rex chase after it. How cool is that? It's a full play set. <laughs> Here is another brand new Camp Cretaceous figure that I'm adding to my collection. This is Velociraptor Delta. This figure is the exact same size as many of the other Camp Cretaceous and Jurassic World Velociraptor figures. It's got some pretty cool coloring. It's like a dark green blue with the black stripes on top. And this figure actually comes with a special feature. There is a button on its back that you can use for slashing. Next up, we've got the Carnotaurus figure. Comes with sound effects as well as you can hear. It's got the dark brown body with some black detailing along the top, a super bumpy texture along its skin, the two big horns. It's got some yellow eyes, a huge set of teeth and the action button to control the head. Next up, we've got a Ceratosaurus figure. This figure has a gray brown body. It's got some darker brown detailing and of course the bright red along its back and its head. It's got the white horn and an action button to control the jaw. Way down here, we've got another Scorpios Rex figure. This figure is larger than the one that I just opened up. And as you can see, it does have the darker body. It is not dark green, but instead is like a very dark blue and black along the top. Plus this figure does have action buttons. The first button on its back controls the jaw and the second button on its back controls the arms. Plus the tail is actually spring loaded so you can swing it back and forth for hitting other dinosaurs. This is an Albertosaurus. It's got the dark green body with the orange detailing all the way up to its head. You can move its arms, you can move its legs, and its tail swivels back and forth to swivel the head. Next up is a big old Baryonyx figure. This figure is mostly green. It's got some darker green along its back and some brown that goes all the way up to its head. And it's got a slide lever action to control the jaw and sound effects. <laughs> 
This is a Cryolophosaurus figure. It is dark blue with red and orange detailing along its neck and head. You can manually open and close the mouth and the rest of its body parts are movable as well. And the tail actually controls the head. This is a Carcharodontosaurus. It's got the tan body with orange and brown detailing. And it's a pretty big figure and pretty adjustable. You can move the arms, legs, and tail. And it's got an action button on its back to control the chomping. This is a Sarcosagus figure. It looks quite a bit like an alligator, so I wouldn't be surprised if they're related. But it's got some much more interesting coloring than most alligators. It's got a light blue-gray body with some purple along the top and some orange and red detailing on the side. And look at all those spikes that line its back from the top all the way to the bottom of its tail. And with this figure, you can use the tail to move its head around in a super realistic way. Here is an Allosaurus figure. These are some pretty epic looking dinosaur figures. It's got the tan body with two tones of blue, light blue on the face and back, and dark blue along the bottom of its back and its legs too. This figure is fully posable. You can move it around and adjust its arms, and it actually comes with two action buttons. One to control the jaw, and one to control the arms. Next up is another Baryonyx figure with different coloring. It has the green body once again. It's got some lighter coloring along the bottom of its neck, and two different tones of brown on its back. You can see the light brown along the bottom and the dark brown along its neck. And once again, light brown on the top of its head that encapsulate its yellow eyes. And let's not forget the button on its back to control the jaw. Plus, the rest of its limbs are adjustable and posable as well. This is a Monolophosaurus with the dark green brown coloring and the yellow detailing all along its back and the orange detailing right along its nose and head. And let's check out those green eyes too. It's got some tiny little eyes. And with this figure, you can actually use the tail to open and close its jaw. Here is a Velociraptor figure. I think this might be Velociraptor Charlie. I can't remember, I get confused. But it's got the green body with the darker green detailing along its back and its head. It's got the yellow eyes. You can manually open and close the jaw and the rest of its limbs are posable and movable too. Here is another Monolophosaurus figure. It is a very dark blue color. It's got some tan detailing along its back that goes all the way up to its head. This figure also has some yellow eyes and a huge set of teeth. And its whole body is fully posable as well. You can move its neck, you can move it side to side, you can move the arms, legs, and tail too. I've got a few Dimorphodon figures in here too. This first one is a dark green. It has some red and yellow detailing along the bottom of its wings. I've also got a bright red Dimorphodon with some fiery detailing along the bottom of its wings, which is pretty cool. This is probably my favorite Dimorphodon figure. And I've also got this gray Dimorphodon with a little bit of darker coloring along its back and the maroon or purple detailing along the bottom of its wings. This is a water dinosaur, and if I remember correctly, it is a Plesiosaurus. It's got a pretty adjustable body. You can move the neck up and down, as well as up here. You can open and close the mouth. Check out all those teeth. And it's got an action button on its back to move its flippers. Check out this next Monolophosaurus figure. It has some light brown coloring along most of its body. It's got the gray feet, which is a cool feature, as well as the gray detailing along its back, neck, and the top of its head. And it's got those huge set of teeth once again. Of course, we can't forget Velociraptor Blue with the iconic blue stripe down both sides of its body. This figure is fully posable as well. You can move the legs, the arms, and even open and close the jaw. Here is a Dilophosaurus figure. It is a light gray color. It's got some red detailing along its frills and on the crown on the top of its head. And the best part is that the tail actually opens its jaw and its frills. That's really cool. Next up, I believe this is called a Proceratosaurus figure. It's got a blue and brown body and some bright orange coloring right along the top of its eye. This figure is fully posable as well. You can move the arms, the legs, you can twist the tail, and of course, open and close the jaw manually. This is a Coelurus figure. It stands on two feet, but looks quite a bit different from most of the other figures that I have. It has the tan and brown body 
It's got some awesome blue detailing along the top of its head. You can manually open and close the jaw, and it is fully posable with the arms, legs, and tail as well. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out this massive collection of Predator dinosaurs. And we're gonna start off with these brand new figures right here. Let's go ahead and start with this one. This is the Sound Strike Irritator. Let's go ahead and open it up. All right, this is a really cool looking dinosaur. Check out that super tall spine along its back. It's got light blue and dark blue along its back, all the way up to its neck. This dinosaur has two actions. First, a thrashing action with the tail and the head. The second is a chomping action with the tail, moves the head up and down. That is super cool. And I love the sound effects on this one too. Next up, we've got a Jurassic World Dominion Pyroraptor. Let's check it out. Alright, this is actually the first Pyroraptor of my collection, so I'm super excited to check it out. Most of its body is a clay red color, it's got some brighter red right on the top here, and then the back side of it is a black color. On this figure, the tail moves, the legs move, you can twist the ankles too, as well as the arms. But the jaw doesn't open and close on this one. Overall, this figure looks pretty cool. Next up, we've got a Jurassic World Dominion Atrociraptor. Let's open it up. All right, so this Atrociraptor is basically the exact same size as the Pyroraptor, and it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty ferocious. Its body's all white, except for those black brown stripes. It's got those red eyes right there. And just like the Pyroraptor, you can move the tail, the legs, and the arms, but the jaw and the head doesn't move at all. Next up, we've got this old Jurassic World Special Edition Indominus Rex. Look at all the crazy coloring on this Indominus Rex. That is really cool. That is really cool. And it's got a button right here that launches the spikes out. Next up, we've got a super detailed Giganotosaurus. This is a super cool model, because look at the attention to detail all over its body. See, it's got the green eyes, it's got tons of teeth, and those actually look pretty sharp. And the skin all over its body looks super realistic and textured. That is really cool. The only part that moves on this dinosaur, though, is the jaw. Here, we've got a super old Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is from the Jurassic Park line. Its body is all green and orange right up to the head. And this T-Rex can actually eat miniature dinosaurs too. It has a tunnel that goes all the way down to its stomach and you can get the miniature dinosaurs out right here. How cool is that? Here we've got another Indominus Rex. This one is normally colored as you can see and is one of the older Jurassic World dinosaurs. This figure is pretty big. It's probably about two feet long and it comes with some actions. When you pull down on the arm, it opens and closes its mouth. And you can move the legs and check it out. Its whole head and neck is super rubbery and the rest of its body is a hard plastic. Right up top here, we've got a Tyrannosaurus Rex with battle damage that you can turn on and off. Just like that, with a click of a button. That is super cool. And the rest of the figure is fully posable as well. With the tail, the legs, the ankles, the arms, the neck, and the mouth. Next up, we've got a custom colored Indominus Rex. Look at how differently this one looks. It's got the bright blue on the underbelly, leads up to the purple on the sides, and then that orange detailing right along the black. And check out all those spikes and those green eyes too. This is a really cool custom colored dinosaur. Here is another Indominus Rex. This one has battle damage, just like that T-Rex we saw earlier. That you can turn on and off. That is so cool. And this figure is fully posable as well. 
Here we've got a super colorful Velociraptor. This dinosaur is super poseable. You can move basically every joint in its body. And it's got that awesome green blue coloring along its whole body with all that gray detailing throughout. <laughs> Next up, we've got a bright predator called the Majingasaurus. This dinosaur has some teeny tiny little arms up front. It's got a big tail with spikes on the underside and some blue and yellow detailing right on the top and on its face. Here is a totally different colored predator. This is the Rajasaurus. It's got a brown body and a gray blue detailing along the top. It's got those spines right along its neck and a little horn right on the top of its head. Here is a Carnotaurus. It's got a clay red body with a darker brown along the top. You can move the arms and the legs and the tail. And the tail actually controls the head so you can move it around. Here, we've got a ferocious beast from the Jurassic World movies. This is a Scorpios Rex. It's got an all black body with a yellow underbelly. And this dinosaur has two actions. First is with the jaw. And the second is a slashing action with this button. Here, we've got another T-Rex, but this is a hybrid T-Rex because it's got those huge spines on its back that you can actually close and hide. And then when you press this button on its back, they'll pop out. That is super cool and super interesting coloring on this too. It's green with gold on the top and the bottom. And it's got this interesting pattern right along its side. Here is a medium sized Spinosaurus. This one is all green, except for the white and red along its spine and the red right around its eyes too. Mm -hmm. This is a medium sized Velociraptor. It can move its legs and its arms, but you can't close its mouth. Its body is mostly brown with gray striping along the top. Here is another T-Rex, but totally different colored. You can see that this dinosaur is from the older Jurassic World toy series. Its body is all tan with a slightly lighter underbelly and it's got an action button on the top that controls the jaw. This is the Albertosaurus with the all green body and battle damage. With this battle damage, you can open it up and you can actually pull down the ribs or push them back up to reveal the stomach inside. And it's actually a little squishy. Plus it's got some battle damage right here too. This is an Indominus Rex and super detailed. This thing has more spikes than many of the other Indominus Rexes that I have. That's really cool. And the only thing that moves in this model is the mouth. This is a Suchomimus. It's all yellow and brown, and it comes with two action buttons, one that controls the face and one that controls the tail. Right over here, we've got a model of an Endoraptor. It's an all black body with the yellow and orange detailing on the sides and all along its spikes right there. That is really cool. And it's in a crouching position as if it's sneaking along. That's so awesome. This is a Ceratosaurus. It's got a gray underbelly and red and black detailing on the tops and sides. Check out that horn right up top too. <laughs> This predator is a Baryonyx. It's got a brown body with a dark gray detailing on the top and bright orange accenting right on top of its head. This, I believe, is another Ceratosaurus, but this one is a dark green with black accenting along the top. You can see it's got a bunch of bumps right along the top of its body too. This Ceratosaurus has a slide action, so you can actually get a few different roars from it. Here is another medium-sized Velociraptor. This one, though, is a tan color with green striping along the top, and you can move the arms and legs, but the mouth is stuck open just like that. 
Here is a medium-sized Tyrannosaurus Rex model. And look at all the shading and detail to its body too. I really like this one because of how cool it looks with the clay red coloring alongside the black. This is a Cryolophosaurus. It's got an all yellow body with brown detailing on the top and that bright orange right on the top of its head. Plus, with this dinosaur, you can move the tail to control the head. Here is a giant winged predator. This is a Pteranodon. It's got an all blue underbelly and the bottom of its wings. And on the top, it's got a dark red with some white accenting on its wings. Next up, we've got an Allosaurus. Check out the yellow underbelly and the blue detailing on its legs and the top of its body and its face. And this Allosaurus has two action buttons. The first controls the jaw and the second controls the arms. We've got another old Jurassic World toy series, Tyrannosaurus Rex. And I believe this one has custom coloring. It's got an all red body with black spots, a yellow underbelly, and yellow eyes. Here is another Carnotaurus, but this one is smaller than the other figures we've seen, and it's actually a little bit rubbery. You can actually kind of bend the legs a little bit, but it's still got those two giant horns on its head. Right over here, we've got a few more Indominus Rexes. They're a little differently sized, and they're both from the old Jurassic World toy lines. Both of them have battle damage. This one is always visible, but on this figure, you can actually hide the battle damage. And they both come with an action that when you move down the tail, they jump. Right over here, we've got a super brightly colored Dilophosaurus. Check out the bright blue along its body. And in the very front, super bright yellow and red. This dinosaur is a Metriacanthosaurus, and it's got a yellow-green color on the underbelly and on the sides, and on the very top is a darker green. Plus, there is an action button that controls the jaw. Right over here is a smaller dinosaur. This is a Masiakasaurus. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. And it has an all-green body with brighter green right along the top, plus an action button to control the head and the neck. Here we've got another Endoraptor. This Endoraptor is all black aside from the detailing right along the side. And you can control the arms, the legs, and the tail, but there's no button to open and close the jaw. This is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Check it out, it's got the black stripes right along its body. Its torso is actually pretty big, and this figure is standing in a roaring pose just like that. This is a Carnotaurus from the new Jurassic World Dominion toy line. You can see that one of the horns is broken off just like in the movie. And you can move its legs, its arms, its neck, and its head. Here is a super interesting looking dinosaur. It looks like it has feathers all over its body. I think it might be a T-Rex, but I can't quite tell. But how crazy is that? Look at those feathers right along the top of its head too. Here is a smaller Ceratosaurus. This is an older Jurassic World toy, and it's got battle damage right there on the side too. I think it's out of batteries, but normally it would light up. Plus, when you pull down on the tail, it opens and closes its jaw. Ooh, here's another old Jurassic World toy. I actually can't tell what type of dinosaur this is. Maybe an Allosaurus, uh, I can't tell. But it's got a little bit of damage on the side and super brightly colored. It's got that yellow and red all along its body. Here are a few more Velociraptors. And look at the size difference too. This is an older Jurassic World Velociraptor and this is a newer one. This one is dark brown with gray stripes along the top and battle damage. And you can actually control the tail to move the mouth. And on this Velociraptor, it's a lot smaller, but just as adjustable. You can even open and close the mouth by hand. 
All right, another model Tyrannosaurus Rex. This one is a dark green color and is in that roaring pose too. Check it out. Here are some interesting looking dinosaurs. I believe this one is a Herrerasaurus. And this dinosaur is fully adjustable with the legs, the arms, the neck, and the mouth too. And this dinosaur is from the old Jurassic Park toy line. I actually can't quite tell what type of dinosaur this is. I'm unfamiliar with this one. Up next, I bet you recognize this from the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. This is a Dimetrodon. It's got that bright orange accenting right along its spine and the yellow along its body. And this front arm right here controls its mouth. We've got a few more T-Rexes in here. This is another model T-Rex, a bit smaller than the others. It's got a yellow underbelly and brown and black top. It's got those red eyes too. And these other T-Rexes are from the old Jurassic World toy line. Check out this bright orange one. This is actually a hybrid dinosaur. It's got gold right along the top with the black stripes. Plus, it's got an action that when you move the tail, it controls its face. Same with this T-Rex too. This T-Rex though is bright green with battle damage on the side. And when you control the tail, the mouth moves. Next up, we've got a new dinosaur from the Jurassic World Dominion movies. This is an Atrociraptor. It's in that sneaking pose. It's crawling close to the ground. We've got another super brightly colored Dilophosaurus. Check out that bright green along its body and the orange right along the top. And the final dinosaur of the bin is a Monolophosaurus with battle damage on the side that you can open and close. Yeah. This Monolophosaurus is also fully adjustable with the legs, the arms, the neck, and the mouth.
Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out a bunch of dinosaurs from my huge dinosaur collection. And I've even got some brand new dinosaurs that we're gonna open up here today. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's get started opening these up. First with the Baryonyx Grimm from Camp Cretaceous in the Primal Attack series. Let's open it up. Here we go, let's activate the batteries. And let's check this out. So this is differently colored from the other Baryonyxes that I have. Comes with sound effects, it's so cool. And it's brown on the bottom and then right next to its eyes, it's all red to really make those eyes pop out. Let's see what kind of actions these have. If you move the tail, let's see, you can get a chomping action and you can also move it side to side for a slashing action too. This is pretty cool. This is about the same size as the other Baryonyxes I have, but I like this one. I really like the dinosaur figures that you can control the head from the tail because it looks so much more realistic that way. That is super cool. Next up, we've got the, I believe it's pronounced Coelurus. I might be wrong, but it's from the Extreme Damage series. Let's open it up and check it out. All right, this is a pretty dark dinosaur. It's got that dark, dark green body a dark red, it's like almost a brown red color. You can move the arms, you can move the legs, and you can twist the tail. Right over here on top is the DNA barcode that you can scan to learn more about the dinosaur. And if you press the button right here, here comes the battle action. That is really cool. I really like these battle damage dinosaurs because it can change the whole look of the dinosaur with just a click of the button. And you can adjust its mouth too. <laughs> Next up, we've got this dinosaur. It's kind of hard to tell what kind of dinosaur it is. So let's open it up and see. All right. It is a Therizinosaurus. And look how brightly colored it is too. Get this cardboard out. I bet you remember this dinosaur from the new Jurassic World movie with those huge claws used for stabbing and slashing. And look at the coloring. It's got a nice blue color on the belly and chest and on the back from the tail all the way to the head. It is a super bright red. This might be one of the brightest dinosaurs that I have. And you can move the arms on this dinosaur and I think the mouth too. Yep, there we go. Next up from our brand new dinosaurs, we've got the Monolophosaurus from the Camp Cretaceous toy line. Let's open it up. So this is a smaller dinosaur, but it is super brightly colored with two different colors of green, just like the earlier dinosaur that we saw. So this is a bright green on the sides and then a dark green right on the top. And on the belly, it's like a tan color. And with this dinosaur, it's got a tail action as well. When you pull down the tail, it gives a chomping action and you can move the legs and the arms, and that's about it on this dinosaur. But this is pretty cool. <laughs> and next up from our brand new dinosaurs, we've got this Chaotic Cargo Mini toy set. Let's open it up and see what dinosaurs are inside. I think that's pretty cool how they designed the box to look like a transport truck for the dinosaurs. Look at that, the whole thing, even the front. But let's check out these dinosaurs. First, we've got a mini's version of Owen. Bingo! Look how small that is. But you can still adjust the arms and the legs. Next up, we've got this. I think this is the biggest dinosaur in the pack. This is a Stegosaurus. Mm. And it has the same coloring as the larger ones that I have actually, which we may see later on in this bin. Next up from the pack, we've got a special edition Allosaurus. And these are like pretty uh, bendable too, which is interesting. Most of the larger toys are not very bendable like this. And you can even open and close the mouth too on this tiny little figure. And last of all, we've got this mini Velociraptor. And it looks like blue. That is so cool. Next up, we've got a giant Tyrannosaurus Rex with battle damage. Let's see that battle damage in action. That is super awesome. And all the joints are movable on this T-Rex as well. With the tail, the legs, even the ankles, the arms, and you can pose the head as well, which is really cool. Most of my T-Rexes can't keep their mouth open unless you're pressing the button. 
but this one you can fully pose. We've got another giant T-Rex. This one also with a posable neck and it's got movable legs, arms, and a tail as well. And this one has a button on the top of its head that you can press to make it roar. Look at all those teeth too. And this one is darker colored. It's like a gray on the side and then the dark brown on top. Way in the back here, we've got a giant Indominus Rex. This is even larger than the T-Rexes that we just saw. This is a light gray color throughout most of the body. And it's got that darker coloring right along its eyes right there. And this has a few actions as well. It's got a slashing action with its arms and it's got a button on its tail that you can press for the jaw. That is so cool. Right up front here, we've got a giant, I think this is a Brachiosaurus. Check out this huge body, it's mostly green. It's got a little bit of red on the sides right there. And then on the bottom, it's like an orange tan color. This Brachiosaurus doesn't have any movable parts, but it is pretty squishy and bendy. You can see I can bend its neck back and forth like that. Right up here, we've got one of the newest Tyrannosaurus Rexes from the Jurassic World Dominion series. Check out the size of the face on this T-Rex right here. This is huge and it's much darker than a lot of the T-Rexes I have. Look at that, it's like a black color right on the top and then on the sides a dark brown and then on the belly it's like a light tan color. And the legs are movable, the ankles, the arms, and with the tail, which I really like, you can wiggle the tail and it moves his head back and forth. Plus it's got a button on the tail for the roaring. Right up front here, we've got a little Carnotaurus. This one's different from most of the figures that I have, but you can see that there's an action button on its tail for chomping, just like that. Plus a button on top, when you press that, it blinks its eyes. Not many of my other dinosaur figures can do that. And you can move the legs and also the tiny little arms as well. Those things are super tiny. All right, another giant T-Rex with different coloring than all the rest. This T-Rex actually comes with a face cage that you can put on. And then when you press this action button on its back, it'll break free from it, which is super cool. Plus, when you twist the tail of this T-Rex, it actually stomps its legs up and down. Up next, we've got a bright green Dilophosaurus with a bright red frills right on its face. Here is a Jurassic World quiz question for you. Who did the Dilophosaurus chase after in the new Jurassic World Dominion movie? Comment below. <laughs> All right, here is the full-size Stegosaurus. We saw that teeny tiny little one earlier in the video. This is the full-sized one, and I think they actually have the same coloring too. With the brown on the sides, the light tan on the belly, and then those green tips. That's super cool. And this Stegosaurus has two action buttons. You can see when you press down here, it moves its face. And when you press down on, which one is it? Here it is. When you press down on this one, this tail swings back and forth. It's spring-loaded, which is super awesome. Right up here, we've got a medium-sized Tyrannosaurus Rex with different coloring than all the rest. You can see that this one has more black stripes that are vertical on it. And you can see on this dinosaur, compared to the other T-Rexes, there's a lot more texture on these. You can't move the legs or the arms on this T-Rex, but you can still open and close the mouth. Right over here, we've got a normal-sized Carnotaurus, still with the same bright red clay coloring and a gray bottom, and it gets darker to like a brown right along the top of its body. On this Carnotaurus, you can wiggle the tail to move its head back and forth and up and down and all that. Plus, there's an action button on its tail to chomp its mouth. 
check this out. This is another Carnotaurus, but it has totally different coloring. The pattern on this Carnotaurus is really interesting. It's almost like diamonds on its side. And it's got that bright orange face. You can't close the mouth, unfortunately, or move the legs or the arms or the tail. But I just really like how different this Carnotaurus looks. The color on this one is totally wild. Right over here, we've got a short but super long dinosaur that looks kind of like an alligator, really. This is a Sarcosagus, and it has tons of teeth in its mouth. And the coloring on this is super wild, too. It's like a dark purple on the top. It's got the orange and red specks right on the side and then a blue-gray color on the rest of the side and all along the bottom. And with this sarcosagus, when you wiggle the tail, it controls his face. How cool is that? Right over here is one of the scariest dinosaurs from the second Jurassic World movie. It is the Scorpios Rex. This dinosaur is super dark along most of its body, other than its belly, which is a bright yellow color. And this dinosaur has two actions. It's got the arm slashing action. Whoop, wrong button. The arm slashing action. And the chomping action too. Right here, this is a huge dinosaur. We saw this one earlier. This is another Therizinosaurus, but this is from the Jurassic World toy line. And, as you can already hear, it has tons of sound effects. Let's see what actions it has. If you wiggle the tail, you can control its torso. And there's a button right here on its tail that when you press that, it's got that chomping action. How cool! And like the earlier Therizinosaurus that we saw, this one also has the bright red right along its top. Up next, we've got a large-sized Velociraptor, and I think it's Velociraptor Blue. You can move the arms of this Velociraptor, the legs, you can twist and adjust the tail, but the mouth does not open or close on this Velociraptor. But I still like this Velociraptor figure because it is larger than most of the other figures that I have. Most of the other figures are probably around this size, I'd say. So this one is actually giant in comparison. Right over here on the side, I believe this is from the John Hammond collection, and I think this is a Pteranodon. And this has super flexible wings. It's like all made out of rubber, so it's super bendy. And I do like the coloring on this as well. It's got that brown over most of its body, and then that yellow coloring right along its wings. That's super cool. And look at the intricacy of the coloring on its face as well. Up next, we've got this mighty Ankylosaurus with those spikes on the side and armor right on the top. You do not want to mess with this one in the wild. And it's got an action as well. There's a button to swing its tail back and forth with this super heavy end. I bet that would knock out some dinosaurs. Right on top here, we've got a smaller dinosaur, but don't be fooled. This, I believe, is a juvenile Giganotosaurus. It's got like this red purple coloring right along its face. And then on the top, it's got black with the white striping as well. You can't move the arms or legs of this figure, but you can open and close the jaw. Next up, we've got another Stegosaurus, but this one has entirely different coloring. This is a blue-gray color, and you can see that there's some even darker coloring right along the top. And on the belly, as usual, is a tan color. This Stegosaurus has only one action button. When you press right here, it wiggles its tail back and forth with those spikes. But on this one, you can just move the face. There's no action button to control it. Right over here, we've got another giant Velociraptor. This one is super adjustable and it is a super bright green color. Look at the ways that you can adjust each limb with the ankles, with the knees, with the elbows. Everything is adjustable on this Velociraptor. Right over here, we've got another Baryonyx with totally different coloring. Unlike the brand new Baryonyx that we saw earlier in the video, this one has a gray body along the sides and the bottom, and on the top of the body is a dark blue color with like a little bit of white, and then right on the neck is a super bright blue color. 
And this Baryonyx has an entirely different action as well. When you slide this back and forth, it does chomping. Check this out. This is the Concavenator. And look at that bright red coloring right along its back right there. Plus, it's got the purple right there and especially all over its head. This dinosaur is also fully adjustable. You can adjust the arms and the legs and the tail as well. Plus, it's got some action buttons. See, there's one right here. Let's see what happens. There's the chomping action. And when you press down on this huge hump on its back, it swings its tail back and forth too. Here is another giant Tyrannosaurus Rex figure. And just like many of the other models that we have, you can't move the arms or the legs, but look at the intricacy of the texture along its body. Look at all that different coloring from the dark brown to the light brown. There's even like a little bit of, it seems like orange or yellow in there too. And with this model, you can of course, open and close its mouth and see all those giant teeth. Here we've got a model Spinosaurus with the huge bright red spine and the red goes all the way down to the end of its tail. The rest of its body is like a dark gray color and it's got the yellow belly as usual. And on this model Spinosaurus, you can open and close its jaw. Here is another huge and brightly colored dinosaur. This is the mighty Carcharodontosaurus. Did you know that these dinosaurs have teeth that are up to eight inches long each? Those are some huge teeth. This dinosaur is a tan yellow color along most of its body, but right along the top, we can see these bright orange stripes that go all the way up to the dinosaur's face where the nose is also the bright orange color. And there's an action button on this dinosaur where you can chomp. Here we've got another miniature Carnotaurus. This one actually has a broken horn right on the top. Do you remember seeing that in the new Jurassic World Dominion movie? I know I do. This dinosaur is a dark green color along most of its body, and it's got the orange pattern right along the top of its body as well. And it is fully posable. You can move the arms, the legs, the neck, and the jaw as well. Right over here, oh, dropped one of them. These are both Pachycephalosauruses. They both have different coloring. They've got orange on both of them, but this one is a green color on its belly and side. And this one is kind of green, but it's more of a yellow green on its belly. And it's got those specks on the side as well. Plus this figure actually has an action as well. When you pull on the tail, it has a hammering action. Oh, here's a different looking dinosaur. Look at those frills all along its neck. This is the Amargosaurus. This dinosaur is mostly brown along the sides and the bottom, but there's a lot of dark specks on the top. Plus there's this bright red coloring all along its frills and its spine all the way to the bottom. And this dinosaur has some actions as well. First button moves its neck up and down and the second button swings its tail. Here we've got a huge winged dinosaur. I remember seeing this one in the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. This is the Quetzalcoatlus. This dinosaur has some super bright coloring right next to its eyes and on the horn on its head and right along the tip of its beak. And the rest of its body is like a blue gray color, except for its wings that are brown and a light tan. Plus there's an action button right up top. When you press it, it flaps its wings. We've still got some dinosaurs left. Here is the Rajasaurus with the brown coloring along its side and the dark blue right next to its neck and on those spines on its neck too. This Rajasaurus has an action when you press down on the feet, it does a chomping action. That is super awesome. I think we've got some more Velociraptors in here. Oh yeah, here's a few and they're all super differently colored. This first one kind of looks like blue, but not quite. It has the blue stripe right there and you can adjust the arms and you can open and close the jaw. And notice, I think it has a little bit of feathers 
right on its elbow right there. That's super interesting. The next Velociraptor figure is a dark purple color with brown coloring on the top and along its head. How cool is that? And this last Velociraptor right here is tan and brown with a little bit of yellow specks. And this Velociraptor has an action as well. Its torso actually swings back and forth. It's spring-loaded, so it swings super fast. Let's see what other little dinosaurs we've got in here. All right, this first one is a baby Tyrannosaurus Rex, and it comes with a muzzle and a bandage as well. You can actually take the muzzle off, and you can open and close its mouth. This is a super bright green Tyrannosaurus Rex with that speckled striping along the top. This next figure is a teeny tiny Indominus Rex, but it's still pretty detailed. You can still see the texture of the skin and it's got that brown coloring right along its spine right there. And this next dinosaur, I'm sure you recognize from the new Jurassic World movie, this is an Atrociraptor. It is mostly white and it's got that brown stripes kind of randomly all throughout its body. It's super cool and pretty scary looking. I think we've got a few more winged dinosaurs in here too. Let's check out this giant one first. This is actually another Quetzalcoatlus, but with entirely different coloring. See the purple that fades into like a dark maroon color, and the rest of its body is mostly this tan color. But like the other Quetzalcoatlus that we saw, it has super bright coloring on its face. Check that out. And of course, when you press this button right here, it'll flap its wings. How cool. This next winged dinosaur is a little one. This is a Dimorphodon. Most of its body and wings are this dark brown color, but you can see some orange stripes here on its head and on the bottom of its wings right here too. And this winged dinosaur is a Pteranodon with a dark blue color along most of its body and red detailing along the top. Plus it has the battle damage right on its body right there. Next up, we've got this super weird looking dinosaur. This is the Tanistrophius. This dinosaur, I believe, resides in the ocean. And check out this super long neck. When you pull the tail, it swoops its neck down like that. That is super cool. And this is a bright dinosaur too. It's a bright blue color. Next up, we've got a dinosaur with some massive spikes. This is a Sauropelta, and it's bright red along the top and a dark brown along the bottom. And this dinosaur is actually spring-loaded, so you can twist the torso back and forth for that slashing action with its horns. Right up here, we've got a little Monolophosaurus figure. This dinosaur has a dark green coloring along the sides and bottom. It has that yellow coloring right along its back, and right on the front of its face, it's got that red coloring too. And with the tail, you can press up and down to open and close its mouth. We've got another super interesting colored dinosaur. This is the Protoceratops. Yay. And it's like a light purple color with the yellow striping pattern along the top of its body and along its face as well, right up front. Right up here, we've got a red Stigimiloc. This is a headbutting dinosaur. And when you pull the tail up and down, it has the headbutting action. How cool is that? Oh, I think we've got another baby T-Rex in here. This one is also a bright green color and it actually has an action. When you pull the tail, you can control its jaw. Next up, we've got another dinosaur from the ocean. This is the Plesiosaurus. This dinosaur is mostly tan along its body, but it does have the dark blue coloring right along its back all the way up to its face right here. And when you press the action button, you can actually make him move his fins. Next up, we've got this green colored Herrerasaurus, and it's actually got a little bit of blue along its top too, which is super interesting. This Herrerasaurus is fully adjustable. You can move the legs, the arms, the neck, and the jaw as well. So it is fully poseable. Up next, we've got this bright green Draco Rex. Look at how bright this dinosaur is. I think that is super cool. And look at that dark gray striping along its back. But don't forget those massive horns on its head. This Draco Rex is fully adjustable. You can move the neck, you can move the arms, 
and the legs as well, but the jaw does not open and close, unfortunately. Here we have a teeny tiny little Gallimimus with three different colors on it. Got the orange tan color for most of its body, and then the blue and red striping all along its back, all the way up to its blue face. And our last dinosaur is another super scary looking Dilophosaurus. This dinosaur is mostly gray with darker gray specks along the top. And on those frills, you've got that bright red coloring. Hello and welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. I'm super excited to be here with you today. Today we are unboxing this giant bin of dinosaur toys. We've got some new Camp Cretaceous, we've got some new Jurassic World, we've got some King Kong and Godzilla further down in the bin, and so much more. I'm super excited to unbox these with you. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first up, let's go ahead and unbox this Camp Cretaceous figure right here. We got a Scorpios Rex from the Camp Cretaceous. Let's check it out. Wow, so this is a pretty sizable figure, I will say. This is larger than a lot of the ones that we have. All right, so there's two buttons on the top up here. Oh, that's the first one. Check it out, this top button. When you press it, watch what happens, let's see. Nice, so his mouth opens up, reveals his teeth, and the sound effect of his roar. Very cool, let's check out the second button here. So when you press this button, let's see, is that the slashing action? Oh yeah. And it's got a sound effect for that too. That's pretty vicious. This thing is ginormous. And let's check out the tail too. We've got the tail here with the slashing action too. You wouldn't want to be in the way of that tail. That thing would hurt so much. Wow, all right. You'll want to stay out of the way of this one. That's for sure. All right, let's move on to the next dinosaur. All right, next up, let's do the Jurassic World Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's check it out. All right, yeah, see, this is cool. You don't see this too often. It's a plastic dino throughout most of it, but the tail is a rubber, giving it much more lifelike feel. And it swivels up and down like that. You can already hear those stomp sound effects. Let's hear some more. Very cool. Let's check out this chomping action too. So when you lift them up like this, it locks into place, and then you move the tail upwards, and it comes chomping down. Wow, that's cool. Very cool. And even his neck right here is kind of like rubber too. You can see it kind of like swivels back and forth. Very cool. I'm super excited to add this to our collection. All right, let's move on to the next dinosaur. Okay, let's check out the Camp Cretaceous Tyrannosaurus Rex, Epic Roarin. All right, here we go. Wow, look at that. And look at that darker stripe along its back and then the lighter sides. It's got a lighter belly. It's like, a, I don't know if that's tan or yellow. But let's check out these uh, action moves. So you've got the button on the tail right there. You can, already hear, you can already hear the roaring right there. And then the swivel action. So the tail twists back and forth and a little bit up and down. And as you're doing that, it twists the head at the same time. That's really cool. Because then it gives it a super realistic look. If you're like playing with the dinos, you don't have to have your hand up here. You can have it way back here and it looks super realistic. That's really cool. And let's try out the button too. Let's see how the roar looks. Ah! 
Whoa, that's cool. It's got like some shaking action too when you press the button. When it roars, there's like a battery inside that makes the head roar back and forth while it's roaring. Let's, let's try that out again. And even look inside the mouth, like with the teeth and this tongue right there. Look at that, it's like wiggling back and forth. So when it shakes, the tongue shakes too. That's pretty cool. That's an attention to detail that I really appreciate. I definitely am enjoying the swiveling head with the tail. That gives it such a cool look that your hands don't have to be close to the head to make it move. Very cool. Let's check out the next dinosaur. All right, and over here, we've got the Jurassic World Tyrannosaurus Rex. Wow, another Tyrannosaurus Rex. We're really on a roll today. All right, let's check it out here. So it's got kind of the same coloring as the other one. You can see the darker top and then the lighter sides and then the even lighter, like a yellow tan belly and underside. We've got these massive claws once again. So the tail is actually jointed in multiple spots. I bet that's for when you press the button, it really gives it a good swing. Let's try out the tail first. Wow, look at that swing. And it goes all the way to the side and all the way back. It's spring loaded. So you can just keep doing this all day. No batteries required. Very cool. And let's see that chomp action with its face too. You ready? Here we go. Ooh, okay. Twist to the side. It closes its mouth and rips it off. Wow, that's really cool. That's a gnarly attack when it's attacking another dinosaur and it's right there. It would grab it and twist it to the side in its attack. That's very vicious. And look at the teeth on this one too. That is a massive set of teeth. Got the yellow eyes. Very cool. I'm liking this one too. All right, let's move on to the next dinosaur. Next up is a smaller dinosaur here. This is the Monolophosaurus. It is a savage strike from the Camp Cretaceous series. It's pretty cool. All right, so here it is. This is interesting coloring, look at that. It's got a lighter gold coloring on the top and then the green sides and a green bottom. Its legs move, it's got those huge claws and its arms move too, they're pretty small. And then look at its face, it's got interesting coloring. It's like a mixture of the red and then the yellow that's also on its back as well. Let's check out that chomping action. Here we go with the tail. Very cool, I'm liking that. It's a smaller dinosaur, but I like that it still has an action that you can do with the toy. Very cool. All right, let's move on to the next dinosaur. All right, and our other new dinosaur here, we've got a Diplodocus, check this out. It's an interesting, like, uh, semi-flexible rubber feeling. The neck is a little bit flexible too. And check out the coloring. You've got this, like, red-brown, and then you've got these stripes of green all the way up the neck too. Check that out. And then got a little bit of yellow on the underbelly and on the legs as well is very cool. There are no moving parts in this one. There's no buttons or anything, but it is somewhat movable. It does have a pretty lifelike feel, I think. Let's check out that face. That's kind of a cute face, you know? Look at those eyes right there. This is pretty cool. This is a, I believe it's a pretty massive dinosaur in real life, the actual size, but this is a very cool model of a dinosaur to have. All right, let's go ahead and check out all these other dinosaurs.
Want to see more dino videos? Click the subscribe button now.